Hey there, everyone. Let's check out this example together about uh, finding the magnetic field at the center of a solenoid. We have in this example a 200 meter wire is made into a solenoid of 3 centimeters in diameter. How many loops are there in this solenoid? So we have a long wire, very long wire, and this wire has a length of 200 meter, and we want to make it into a solenoid. The solenoid is made out of loops or, you know, uh, loops that are next to each other. And each one of them has, I'm going to make this bigger a little bit, has a diameter of three centimeters. Okay, three centimeters. This means that the radius is 1.5 centimeter. Okay, how can we find how many loops if we know the length and the radius? Okay, well, each loop will be a circumference of a circle, which is 2 pi r. Okay, so that's the length of each loop. If we take the whole length of the wire and divide it by the length of each loop, then we will find how many loops we can make out of this wire. Okay, let's do that. So 200 divided by... 2 pi r, and I'm going to call this number of loops. And if I do that correctly, I will get, of course, you have to put r in 1.5 times 10 to minus 2 meters. If I do this correctly, I will get 2,122 loops. So basically, this wire was made into a solenoid that looks like this, or 2,122 loops. Now the second part, if the solenoid was made to have a length, so the length, the total length of the solenoid was engineered to be 1.5 meters long, okay? And it carries a current of 2.5. What is the, the, the magnetic field at the center? Okay, we know that the magnetic field for the center of a solenoid is equal to mu naught times I times N, where this N is simply the number of loops divided by the length. Okay, so let's plug in the numbers. Mu naught is 4 pi times 10 to minus 7. The current is 2.5 amps. And the n number of loops, we, we found it 2,122 divided by the length 1.5. And if we do this calculations, we will find that the magnetic field at the center of the solenoid is 0.0044 Tesla. And if we want to find this in Gauss, we multiply this by 1,000, so 10,000, and that's equal to 44 Gauss, if needed in uh, Gauss. And that's it for this problem. Thank you.